Okay, finally found one. Apparently the server, the master server went down for a little bit or something. I don't know. But anyway, we're back and we're about to kill things with a bruiser. Here we go. My team. There they are. Ooh, I wonder if that guy that got seven got him in a kill streak. There are achievables for that. In fact, that's how I got Unstoppable 1, was I kind of, sort of, was 7-0, and 0, and then I died. But it was enough for the kill streak, so... Yay me. Okay, so, I'm going to kind of try my best right now to display usage of the, us the Bruiser. This is how you play Hawking. There we go. Okay. Oh! We have engineer. No, we don't. Okay. Thought I was going to work on that. This is bad, but I'm not going to die. Oh, goodies. Let's be right here and repair. Okay. Ah, there's an engineer. What a wonderful fellow he is. Let's thank this marvelous fellow. So yeah, an engineer. Still support mech. That's how it started. That's how it's gonna be. And it's awesome. That's a blind fire, and it works out. It was an assist, but I'll take it. That's what I'm saying. Bruce was all about assisting. Now, if I can ever get a moment, kind of describe the tactics of this. Come on, buddy. Oh, that one's not the same one. May not survive this. Probably am not because I'm not falling off of things like I want. Hey. Save my life. Woo, that was close. Okay, and there's our wonderful engineer again. My gosh, that's the best thing ever. Thanks, Shona, or uh, who's the other one? Soraka, there we go. That's what I'm gonna start calling those. I'm gonna call them Sorakas. Okay, anyway. Um, Blind fire that did nothing. Normally you're not supposed to blind fire those, but sometimes you don't really have much of a choice. Yeah, go away, turret. I don't care about you. Come at him, bro. This is yeah. Just realized that was probably a raider. Oh, but I actually got killed by a sharpshooter. So he probably just got the last hit in that raider. He's probably very upset about that. But it happens. So anyway, yeah. What you want to do is your primary, which is a uh, spinner here. What you want to do is just train that thing on top of your target and just hold it down, especially as a bruiser. This is your primary way of dealing damage. But furthermore, even though, because you kind of do that with everybody. What's more important about that, though, is that that's kind of what the bruiser does. He, he kind of sets things up. He does a fair amount of damage with it, but it's a spread. So ultimately, you just kind of want to keep it trained on them and want to make sure you have teammates around to sort of back you up while you're doing it, because a lot of your teammates are going to be the real heavy hitters in all of this. That is also a downfall of the guided missiles, is it's very easy to dupe them behind cover. Oh, somebody got it. That's good. Okay, what are we after here? Here we go, here we go. Now I'm fired this. Oh, I'm going to get an assist on that, though. There it is. Okay, I know you're over here. Come on. Here he comes. Ooh, I just ate a tow missile. That was not good. Ooh. Yes, I just narrowly evaded a really big missile. Okay, what we're gonna do is hide. Is that that bonus? Our guy. Scared me. Ooh. Once again, Soraka, thank you. Okay. trying to get to the second part of this tactic, and it's very difficult because they're shooting at me. Kind of the point is that once enough damage has been done, and you still have your primary trained on the target, lock on. Ow, that hurt. That hurt bad. Fire your missiles. There you go. Your missiles do so much damage that they're an absolutely amazing finishing system. So you want to make sure that those things are always ready. 
After you've eliminated your target, if you're hearing beep, 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 it's usually a good idea to find, oh gosh, I'm gonna die. A nice place to hang out and repair. Again, that is a raider. I'm probably dead, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna play with the bruiser a little bit, but I'm gonna show you why the raider's doing absolutely awesome against me. He's playing very well. He's doing everything he should be, and that is why he is kicking my butt. Okay, let's see. Is it technician or the engineer? What's it called? It's the technician, okay. Wow. Okay, normally I would say the technician is furthest from the one who is supposed to do cleanup duty, but he's 10, 6, and 5 right now. He's just absolutely rocking on us. So I'm now getting a little bit curious as to how one would play a technician in an offensive role. I may have to unlock it. Oh gosh, they're chucking grenades. I've done some upgrades to my mech, so that's why I'm actually, I think 675 is the stock total damage. I'm actually able to get 695 out of it. If you guys were wondering. Yeah, man. Bye. Actually, I was gonna kill him, but I just wanted to make him sad. Let's do this for a little bit. Oh gosh. Nah, it's gonna hit you. Was I out of fuel? I wasn't really paying attention. They must have been out of fuel. I'm trying to figure out why I couldn't jump left. That kind of wasn't cool. Use that or I got invisible walled, but I've never been invisible walled there before, so I'm pretty sure I must have been out of fuel. That sucks. That's probably a sharpshooter. And he's going to take some damage. It's below me. If you look on the radar, not only does it show red dots, you'll notice that there are little arrows underneath it. That tells you the relative vertical position of the target. Ooh, this guy is the guy that's been kicking my butt. <laughs> there we go. Problem show. Gonna go ahead and repair very quickly. So we can get up to 500. I'm gonna have to bust around real quick. I think we've got some above us. Nope, we don't. Okay. Turn this way. Yep, I see him. Oh. Come on. No, I'll get him. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up some repairs. And I think we got a guy chasing him all up there, so... We'll take advantage of that right now. 9-6, and we are full. Okay, now... Where do we get out of here? What's hitting? Something shot me. This is unacceptable. Those little white things I just picked up, those also give you life. And there we go. That was a loss. So that sucks, but I did just get into that. Let's find out why that was a loss, shall we? Highest score gets to Zerg Salad. Good job, Zerg Salad. And if we look, I'm going to get rid of this. Ah, 720 is so tough. Yeah, for some reason the chat takes up a lot of the window. Um, uh, 1, 3, and 4, so not the greatest, but like I said, the Bruiser's more about, uh, the assists. I'm gonna go back to scoreboard here. And 4 assists, considering that I got in late on that game, that's actually not too bad. You're gonna see that a lot with the Bruiser. Uh, if you pick up the game, usually you have to kind of get in on the beginning to do this. I don't know why, at least that is for me. But you can usually ride this thing up to the top as well. Uh, I think I made the Bruiser sound entirely support, but I have been known to, on more than one occasion, get first place with the Bruiser. He is capable of that. You just almost always will find that you have more assists than you do kills. But yeah, I mean, Zerg Salad right there is pretty much the reason they won. He's a very skilled player, apparently. Uh, this is probably one of my least favorite maps. In fact, you guys have probably already seen it this way, but uh, I think I'm going to actually keep those previous videos split up and make this a part two. So you're probably watching part two right now. Enjoy. But, hmm, interesting. All right, let's do the bruiser a little bit more. I just don't like this map too much. Actually, it's kind of growing on me, to be honest. It's not as bad as it used to be. Um, totally used to natural selection. Press C to get the map, and that's not going to work. First thing you want to do in the very beginning is try to locate your buddies. Get to them ASAP. The enemy will do the same thing, and if you happen to be in their way, 
it will probably be one versus three or four. You will not win that battle. Let's grab that. Guess they fell. Yeah, they fell. Woo! Oh, that works. I'll take it. Anyone coming up here? It would be fine. Oh my gosh! Yes, the answer is to find it. Yes, and that will be the raider again. It was going to be the bane of my existence. I can tell. Yeah, Zergsel is the raider. Okay, that's cool. Zerg Salad is pretty awesome with the Raider. He will continue to be really awesome with the Raider. That's okay, I'm going to play some more of the Bruiser, because I do want to showcase it a bit. But I probably will be switching to... Uh, this is the worst thing you want to do with him, too. There we go. Oh, got two assists out of that, though. It's not too bad. <laughs> Look who cleans up. that keep happening. Can't do it. Can I go above this? Do I want to go above this? I think that's more the question. I don't know where I am all of a sudden. I thought I knew this map well. Ah, another group. This fight's mine, bro. Gosh darn it. There we go. Flip and repair. Oh, I made him leave. I think I just saw it, maybe. Ooh, that's a problem. Hey, buddy. Ah, oh, most of those impacted on the surface. Star Wars quote. Ah, they arced up too fast. One of the problems I've noticed, I wish they arced a little bit more slowly. Very useful. Okay, I think we got problems up here, so I'm gonna be an idiot and repair right in the damage zone. Generally, not a good idea. But I don't know. Been doing this a while, I guess. Looks like they got a sniper. Oh, that one's dead. This guy's gonna hide, so I'm gonna go ahead and just hit him with missiles. Waterfall. I actually haven't taken any damage. Wow, I got an assist for that too. It is very possible to get uh, first place riding solely on assists, by the way. I have done it several times. So if you're not getting landing kill shots, don't fret, you still may end up first place. <laughs> and there are times when you can kill steal like that with this thing. I love it. See, Bruiser is not half bad. In fact, I'm 3 and 2 right now, so I am starting to pick up my game. Yeah, I'm not going to hit that. Too much occlusion. How dare you occlude me. Ha ha ha! By the way, buddy. Right behind you. Kill streak. Stay behind him. If you're wondering why I didn't continue to fire on that, it's because... Ah, he's getting away. He's coming over this way. Time to go. 61. Heal me. Dang it. Yeah, definitely got a nemesis there. Sometimes, if your team's playing well, it's also possible that I just didn't have the opportunity. No, actually, it did kind of work out. But sometimes, if you kind of sneak in and get a kill, you can lead whoever's tailing you back towards your enemy, and they're so, like, just committed to killing you that they completely ignore the fact that they have three battle mechs on them and you get the kill. Or, I mean, you don't get the kill, but you survive and the enemy dies. So, either way you look at it, it kind of works out. Ah, crap. That totally sucks. Can I up here much? I really want it up there. Oh, well, I'm here. Might as well repair. Haha. <laughs> Hi, I'm not here. 
Let's talk about bad places to repair. Oh my gosh. Okay, get up, get up, get up. Oh, hey, Jim again. Ah. Oh. Dang it. Fired those missiles just a little too early for a kill steal. Yes, I tried that. Yeah, you're dead. And that is proof that the primary isn't all that bad. You can finish with it, but you usually have to do so when it's a one on one. Oh, crap. Ha! Nice try. Eat missiles. Somehow managed to get an assist off of that. I don't even know how that works because I didn't think I even did that much damage to them. But hey, I'll take it. See, look at that. Ten assists. That Raider's doing pretty well on assists too. To be honest though, a Raider should have more kills than assists. They're more designed for that. Yeah, I'm pretty much done. That's a Raider. There it is. Ah, oh, Sharpshooter. This is the reason I don't like snipers. It's not that you get killed by them. No, it's more that like you'll be one on one some guy, and you're just about to die, and then suddenly you just get sniped. And it's not so much that I died, it's just that like, you know, I was one on one the guy. The, the guy I was fighting was doing all this work to try to kill me, and that sharpshooter over there just lands the last hit and denies him a kill. It's like, that's really not very nice. Honestly, if I if I was the one giving that out, I would give the Raider the kill instead of that Sniper. That really was not very nice of him to do that. Ah, uh, now I got... Wow! That was an impressive toe launch. Unless he was right next to me. But I was still kind of in midair when he shot that. So, that's off to that guy. That was a good landing. Alright, let's play around. Let's try out the Raider, and let's see how much better we do. Or fail. Probably a lot of fail. Because I'm used to the Bruiser right now. We're going to do this. We're going to make it work. There's one. Close the distance with this guy. This guy is completely different. That is a shotgun, my friends. That is a shotgun. I'm kind of surprised I didn't kill him. I'm also surprised I hit shift D, because that was the last thing I wanted to do right there. If you hold shift down and you hit your WASD keys, it, like, does things. Like, it's your little scooty bobs. But if you hit Shift D, it does this. And you don't want to do that when you're shooting at somebody because they're behind you. I think I freaked. I knew who that was. It was that Zerg guy. That is the new wall thing. Okay, that's what it looks like. Okay. Biggest problem with this guy is the fact that you really do have to get in close to be at all useful. The good thing about him is that I am about positive that the reason that I'm doing well right now uh, is because of that guy. Oh, I hit a toe launcher. Come on. There we go. Yeah, the beauty of the Raider. See, we got already second place. Doing, be doing better. The beauty of the Raider is just quite simply that its primary weapon does an incredible amount of damage if you can get up close. And there's a wall there. Oh, now it's gone. I don't think I actually want to be here, though. Oh, nice landing. Let's repair that. Stay engaged. I don't want to have less health with the other guy. There we go. Health matters a lot in this game. Ha! Ah, did the same thing. Oh, now he's got a shotgun. Though. If you middle click, it switches it to shotgun. Personally, though, I think this is better. Whee! Explosion. Inaccessible. I want to. I actually call this the pepper gun. Yeah! See? This thing's a murderer. I love this battle mech. Oh. Oh, 
It excels at last hit. Ah, my buddy. I love technician. The heck was that? Dropping those things like crazy. Okay, there is one up there. I saw that dot before all that happened, so I know he's around. actually dupe those. It's kind of cool. Apparently it works solely off of radar signatures. Yeah, I have no... Oh, 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 that's... Well, I did damage to him, I think. I hope that shot got off. Doesn't really matter, though. I just got hosed. I'm actually not doing well. 9 and 8 is not my best. But I am having a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm pretty sure... Anybody else who's watching this, if they tried hawking out, they would have a lot of fun too. It really is a blast. This is a great game. And there we go. We got a victory. Outstanding. I will take that. I may not have landed king, but hey, check it out. I did make the leaderboard. I got third place. So I'm pretty happy with how that turned out, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a very brief, I'm not very good at tutorials or anything like that, but I hope you guys kind of got an idea how to play at least the Bruiser and the Raider. They're really great battle mechs, and the Raider's kind of overused right now because it is a new mech, but the Bruiser I think is kind of underused in a lot of ways. A lot of people were talking about just how underpowered it is, and I don't think it's underpowered at all. I think it just has a very specific playstyle, and if you kind of get used to it, it actually is a lot of fun. I wish I did better with it because there are a couple of games where I'm just rocking with it. And if I ever have another one of those games and I record it, I will post it. So I'll show you guys how awesome the, the Bruiser can actually be. But anyway, again, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, like, rate, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the battlefield.